Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. So on today's video, we have a very important update from the Bureau of Immigration. Details coming up. So the Bureau of Immigration has posted a press release about diplomats, spouse, and children of Pinoy's from 35 restricted countries now allowed to enter the Philippines. So this is actually good news to everyone and I won't keep you long. Let's go over the details of this press release from the Bureau of Immigration. Press release 22 January 2021. Diplomats, spouse, and children of Pinoy's from 35 restricted countries now allowed entry. Manila, Philippines. The Bureau of Immigration announced that they will be implementing the resolution of the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, or IATF, on allowing certain classes of foreign nationals with valid visas effective immediately. So it is true that spouses, children of Filipino national is now allowed to enter the Philippines effective immediately. The Bureau of Immigration will be implementing this resolution recommended by the IATF. So please take note of this new announcement from the Bureau of Immigration that spouses, children, diplomats of Pinoy's from the 35 restricted countries are now allowed to enter the Philippines. Bureau of Immigration Commissioner Jaime Morente stated that they received a copy of IATF Resolution Number 95 allowing the entry of accredited foreign diplomats, personnel of accredited international organizations such as the World Health Organization and the United Nations and foreign dignitaries despite coming from or have a travel history within the last 14 days from any of the 35 countries with travel restrictions due to COVID-19. Arriving foreign diplomats and personnel of accredited international organizations will be referred to the airport's one-stop shop from the usual testing and quarantine protocols, said Morente. The Bureau of Immigration added that those coming in the country for medical and emergency cases, including their medical escorts, if any, will be allowed to enter the country subject to applicable testing and quarantine protocols as prescribed by the Department of Health. Also allowed in the latest resolution are the spouse and minor children of Filipinos. However, Morenti stressed that the arriving spouse and minor children of Filipinos should be traveling with them and should apply for an entry visa before coming to the Philippines. Spouse and minor children of Filipinos traveling with them who are not in possession of valid entry visas issued by our foreign post abroad will not be allowed entry, said Morente. So please take note of this resolution that spouses and minor children, especially if they are foreign nationals, they still need to secure an entry visa before they are allowed to enter the Philippines. So with this being said, I think the Balikbayan visa privileges is still suspended as this resolution is imposed by the Bureau of Immigration. Remember the Balikbayan visa privileges? The foreign spouse and foreign children of a Filipino national or former Filipino national is allowed to enter as long as they are traveling with them. They don't need to secure an entry visa. But with this new resolution from the Bureau of Immigration, not only that you guys have to travel together, but the foreign spouses and foreign children all the Filipino nationals need to secure a visa before they are allowed entry into the Philippines. So please take note of that. The resolution states that they will be subject to the same testing and quarantine protocols applicable to Filipinos. Morente also clarified that dual citizens holding both a Philippine and foreign citizenship will be allowed entry upon presentation of a valid Philippine passport or their certificate of citizenship. 
According to the Bureau of Immigration, a certificate of citizenship could mean either an identification certificate or a certificate of reacquisition or retention of the Philippine citizenship. So please take note of this, especially to our Kababayans who have acquired their dual citizenship already but has no Philippine passport yet. You are still allowed to go home to the Philippines or you are still allowed entry into the Philippines as long as you guys present the certificate of citizenship or reacquisition or retention of your Philippine citizenship. So please don't forget to bring that document that was given to you when you guys applied for your dual citizenship and took an oath in one of the Philippine consulates abroad. Those papers that they have given you during that oath taking will need to be presented upon boarding to allow entry into the Philippines. Currently, the Bureau of Immigration is implementing a travel ban on aliens with a travel history within the last 14 days from the United Kingdom, Denmark, Ireland, Japan, Australia, Israel, the Netherlands, the People's Republic of China, including Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, Switzerland, France, Germany, Iceland, Italy, Lebanon, Singapore, Sweden, South Korea, South Africa, Canada, Spain, and the United States. Included in the travel ban are those coming from Portugal, India, Finland, Norway, Jordan, Brazil, Australia, Pakistan, Jamaica, Luxembourg, and Oman. On Sunday, the Malacanang ordered the inclusion of the United Arab Emirates and Hungary to those temporarily restricted due to the new COVID-19 variants. So please take note that with this resolution, tourist visa are still suspended. Only the spouses and the minor children of a Filipino national or former Filipino national are allowed to enter the Philippines with valid entry visa. Also diplomats are also allowed to enter the Philippines. So I know everybody is waiting when the tourist visa is going to open or the travel ban for the tourist visa is going to be lifted. Unfortunately, this time it's not possible yet. It's still suspended until further notice. So please take note of this new resolution on who are allowed to enter the Philippines this time, especially if you guys are coming from the 35 restricted countries due to the new strain of COVID-19. So this is really good news, guys, to all our Kababayans who are still planning on coming to the Philippines during the time of the pandemic with their spouses and children. So now they are allowed. But please take note of the conditions that is implemented by the Bureau of Immigration. Make sure to check the latest travel update before even booking that flight to the Philippines just to make sure you guys are on track on the new travel updates to the Philippines. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We do travel updates. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers and new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel, The Eaton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye!